Creating a drop shadow around a photograph in Photoshop is quite a simple task. First thing we need to do is add some white to the canvas area so that we can um, put the drop shadow in that white area. And we do this by going to Image, Canvas Size and increasing the canvas size um, by, well we'll use percentage, it's easier than using the figures, 125% by 125% and this little icon here tells us we're going to add that space all around the image. If we were to click on this box we would only add that extra space to the left, to the right, above and to the left, above and to the right above. Similarly if we went to that corner we would only add the extra white space below to the right and below to the right of the image. I'll show you that one. There's the extra space below to the to the right and below right. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to redo canvas size, image canvas size 125% all round and there we are. I'll just reduce the size of that slightly and we can see that there's the white area ready for us to drop um, our drop shadow into. We now need to duplicate that layer. That's why I've got the layers palette on. So it's layer, duplicate layer. We'll call it background copy, which is the default setting. And there's the background copy. And then we need to select with the magic wand tool this white area. The magic wand tool is the easiest way of doing it. Click in that white area. You see we have a selection now, which is just the white area. And then image. Uh, sorry, layer, layer style, drop shadow, brings up the drop shadow dialog box. We can choose several um, alternatives here. The angle of the drop shadow shown in this preview box here. We'll, we'll just move the distance away so you can see the shadow. The angle tool alters the angle of the drop shadow. Distance alters the distance from the object. Spread alters the spread and size makes it bigger. We can alter the contour of this, we can alter the colour of this. We wanted to choose say an orange then uh, once we OK that it applies as an orange. We'll go back to black which is there and we'll take that as our setting. OK that and then in order to see the drop shadow Control X cuts the foreground pixels and there's our drop shadow. If we need to go back and alter that, we can go into this area here in the palette, in the uh, layers palette, double click on the drop shadow, come back to the drop shadow uh, dialog box, we'll alter one of the contours, we'll create a different contour to the, that shadow. There we are, you can see the contour in there. OK that, we'll alter the colour, this time we'll go for a red one, OK that, and there we are. 